Hey, what's up everyone? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I'm bringing you an awesome tutorial on creating this 3D intro that I just created. Check it out right here. So we have some, basically it's fake 3D text that I built and created in After Effects and have this awesome zoom effect. Um, I learned this technique from Evan Abrams over at ECA Abrams on YouTube. So shout out to Evan Abrams. Uh, thanks for teaching me how to use this 3D uh, text extrude effect and I'm putting it to good use in this cool intro. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to create a new composition. I'll call this 3D intro 2. 1920, 1080, that's good. The duration, this really only needs to be like five seconds or so. So that's good. So now I'm just gonna make this fit up to 100% so you can see better. First thing we wanna do is add our text and choose a font. So I'm just gonna call this uh, 3D text intro. Nah, that's boring. I'm gonna say you are awesome. Cause you are, and I'm really excited that you're here today. Let's change up the font, something a little bit more interesting. Rockwell is pretty good. Maybe make it bold. I don't want to add tile size, so I'm going to click off of that. As you see down here, I have the all caps button pressed, so um, that makes it easier to choose all caps. Then I'm going to make the text white. I'm going to toggle on and off the transparency grid so that you can see it better. Down here in the paragraph tab, make sure that it's centered. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger center it using the tile action safe button just center it as much as possible I'm actually going to toggle back the transparency and add a stroke so down here under the character under the text size there's this stroke tab so I'm just going to add a black stroke to change the color of the stroke go to this box this black box or whatever color behind the character co uh, character color Click that and double click it again and you could change the color of the stroke. So have something about like this. I can also maybe um, increase the spacing between uh, the letters, so the tracking. So something like that, increase. So that is more space between the letters. Then I'm going to pre-compose this text. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so that I can change the text and it will automatically uh, affect the whole composition. So let me go, so this is my final composition, Video School Online, and here's my pre comp text, the original text. If I change this to you are awesome, which you are, it changes it in the final composition. So it's really nifty uh, way of easily doing that is pre-composing. So press Command Shift C, or go up to uh, composition when you have this selected. You go up to composition and or edit one of these layer that is, and then go down to pre-compose. I'm gonna call this title text. Okay, so now this is in a pre-composition. If I double click it, I get that composition. The next thing we're going to do is create that sort of 3D look. And because After Effects doesn't have 3D objects, you can't really have 3D object. It's really just flat layers um, in 3D space. We're gonna have to fake it. We're gonna have to trick it. So we're basically going to take multiple layers of this and put it backwards and forwards in Z space. So you know, if you click this 3D text or 3D option on, and then you press P to bring up position you'll notice that without this 3D box, there's no Z option. You have the Y coordinates and the X coordinates. And if we add the, the 3D, we now have the Z coordinate. So now I can move it towards the camera or back, quote unquote camera. You know, so you're bringing it towards you or away from you. And so basically we're gonna layer a bunch of these, um, this text 
over each other and move it back in Z space. An easy way to quickly do this is to add a slider control. And we're just gonna add it to this. Um, actually, first we're gonna add a adjustment layer. So layer new adjustment layer. And then we're going to add the slider control to it. So in effects, type in slider control. And now we're just going to rename this control. All right, so then what we're going to do is um, go to the position of this title text and add an expression. The expression is, and I'm just going to copy and paste it from here, but I'll tell you what it is. It's basically, so value, so if you alt click or option click the time stopwatch next to position, you'll come up with uh, with this expressions option to type in an expression. So type in value, which means this value of the position, plus open square bracket zero, which is the x coordinate, comma zero, which is the y coordinate, plus or or comma index times, which is the asterisk button. And then you can go take this twirly gig over here, this expression pick whip, and connect it to the slider. So let me just type it in for you so that you know. So it's value plus square bracket, zero comma, zero comma, index times, which is shift eight on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna take this pick whip and tap or bring it over to slider right here, let go. It fills in the rest of this information, then close the bracket. Okay, so now that this title text has an expression, we can use this control to affect the text. So if I increase the slider, you can see that it drops back in space. And why do I do that? So that I can duplicate this text about 20 times or so, more or less depending on how fast your computer can go. And then when I go down to the slider control and I move up the slider, you're basically moving all these layers back in space. And how it works is, how this expression works, it's basically multiplying the index number, which is this number over here to the left of the layer, so it's like the layer number. So this first layer is one, two, three. It's multiplying that by the slider number up here. So layer one is going to have the Z space of one times 10. The layer two is gonna be 20, 30, 40. You get the picture. So the more uh, the slider you have on the more amount of 3D-ness you can, you can get. All right, so I think ten, around 10 is good. The next thing we're going to do is pre-compose all of these. So I'm gonna pre-compose all of them. Again, Command-Shift-C. We're gonna call this, uh, we have our, we'll just call this 3D text comp. 3D text is good. And then what we want to do is make sure that this um, in between these the, these two options, you have the four comp layers collapse transformations. We want to make sure that this is selected because now if we turn on 3D and we use the rotation tool, you still get this 3Dness of it. If as you can see here, if I uncheck this. Uh, preserve, what is this called again, a collapse transformations option, it doesn't really work. It still is a flat layer. It doesn't look 3D at all. So I'm gonna make sure that's on. The one thing that you'll notice is that if you go too far, you'll see here that you can start to see the layering of the text. And while that's like a cool effect, let me zoom in on here, that's kind of a cool effect if you don't want that, well, you're going to either have to stay in a certain amount of rotation. So see how this is at six, and that still looks good. 
See how you can see it's just like black block text. Um, if you go past that, it might get a little bit layery. The other thing you can do though too is see, let me show you okay, where it starts to get, you can start to see the layers. If you go back to your 3D text comp, I'm gonna open this up and then we go to our control and we decrease to this to like five or something. It makes it a little bit less 3D, but it will help with this part of it. So you can rotate it more without seeing the layering. So something like that's kind of cool. All right, but I'm gonna leave it at zero um, rotation, but you could create all sorts of cool rot animations with this. Um, but for me, I'm going to add a background now. So I'm just gonna press Command Y, add a white solid background. And then I'm just gonna create that kind of zoom move that I have right here. So it zooms from behind the camera and Video School Online is great for this because it has a, an O in the, the title and you could kind of zoom through that. For You Are Awesome, it doesn't really have that sort of um, letter, but maybe we'll come through the A or something, we'll, we'll just see. So the final spot is going to be right about here. So I'm just going to press P while I have this layer selected and set a keyframe right there. Then I'm gonna to go to the start of the composition or maybe a half a second into the composition and change the Z space to go past the camera. So just keep going, you can hold shift and click and drag. And as you can see, yes, we're gonna go through the A it looks like, okay? Then I'm just gonna click this keyframe over on the right, the last keyframe and do easy ease. So it will slow into this position right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna render this out. And it's gonna take a little bit because this is a very intensive composition with all the layers, with the expressions, with the motion, with the 3D aspect of it. But this is a really cool way to create 3D text um, in After Effects. If you don't have the money to purchase something like uh, Cinema 4D or um, if you don't wanna take the time to learn those programs, um, but yeah, so I hope you are understanding this lesson. It's um, a lot, you know, it's a lot more advanced than some of the other lessons that I provide. Um, but for all of you guys that have been following Video School Online for a while, I think it's a good time to get into some of this more advanced stuff. So it's about to get play. It's rendered out now. You are awesome. That is pretty cool. So you kind of have this black kind of flash right here as the A comes over. And that's kind of weird. So maybe what I'll do is I'm just gonna go to this right where it's black and then I'm gonna move this position maybe down. And you'll notice that, okay, so this is where the A is. Maybe if I move it down there, I'll go through the A. And then I'm just going to move this keyframe and um, basically delete the first keyframe by moving this one on top of it. So now it's going to, okay, no, see now I'm, I went too high. It's going over the A, but that might be kind of cool too. I think there's not enough space in the hole of the A to look good. So going over it like this might be a really good option. Okay, while this renders out, I'm just going to say, Visit videoschoolonline.com for more tips, tricks, tutorials, articles, podcasts, all sorts of great stuff. You can take my courses through there as well. Uh, if you sign up for my newsletter, you're going to get 50% off all of my courses, which is an awesome deal. And I'm not going to do that forever, so take uh, advantage of that now. And uh, yeah, subscribe to this video, like it. And just know that you are awesome. I really appreciate you watching these video, video tutorials and learning from them. And especially when you comment on them and, and say nice things about them. So thank you. So let's check this out. You are awesome 3D text. Dude, can't get much cooler than that. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.